go from there. Be careful if you pull it by here, it will snap out. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. <laughs> it might be a little bit bumpy, is the only thing. True, we'll see. You're gonna go. I actually don't know which way, right? I'm assuming. Mm. Is it, uh, there's a lot of potholes. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was just the curb. Oh, Justin's gonna kill. It's nothing not on, to see here. It's not on video or nothing anything. Does nothing happen. What are you talking about? What <laughs> potholes? This has been the smoothest sailing road. Left onto Lions Road. Let's talk about these Hoyas though. Girl, <laughs> did you get some Hoyas today? <laughs> Hoya me happy? Oh my Hoya. What, $22 for both? $22 for two Hoyas. And neither are just like an easy to find variety for me. A goldfish tend to be. Uh, have you watched those movies? No. I watched part of one of those movies and it was like decent storyline but then there's like two, three, I think there's four. Like how far can you go with this? Turn left onto North Plaza I don't want to know. It was a... Oh. <laughs> oh it was... Uh, want some fish? Want some water? Yes I want some fish. Thank you. I don't have any ideas. You were super smart to bring some water. I didn't. I almost grabbed a, like a bottle for you as well. I want to get one of these. You have like eight waters. I do. <laughs> like random half drink of water scattered about. You should. They're like ten bucks. Where are they from? Um, got it here at an REI. I think you can get them at Academy. Academy? Yeah. It's just, it's sturdy, it's a good size, it holds a lot, but it's also not like... They also have ones that have... Um, odd. Like Colby's is a wide mouth, so it's mm. a big... I don't know what you prefer, I like the little... I don't like... Little I'm bad about dripping. The little guy. <laughs> Head west oh, that would've been great. Street. How do you... <laughs> how would you... I think you'd have to, it's like, <laughs> this way. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> have you heard, um, <laughs> probably not, this guy, Todrick Hall. Mm -hmm. I met him once actually at Taj Mahal. Uh, <laughs> at Six Flags in Dallas because he's from Dallas. Okay, cool. Started on YouTube. He's made a career. He's friends with Taylor Swift now. Slight like, oh, yeah. Uh, BFFs? But he made a song called Head Nails, South Hair, Pleasant Hips, Valley Heels. Mm. Continue on North Pleasant Valley Road for one mile. Are you going to sing it for us? Sorry about Siri. I can play it for you. <laughs> because there's a part where he's like... He does all the gay things. I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> he's like, snap for me, snap for me. Okay. And then he does one part where he's like, fan for me, fan for me. Oh, really? And at the live show, everyone whips those out and like does that. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> Every time there's just going to be this like slight hesitation of like, how do I do it? Is it the right way? Um, I miss living here so much. It is such a cool, I'm coming back. cool you, place. You haven't even seen all of it. I think I'd show you sometime. Maybe next oh, time. True. There's an, actually, there's never going to be a time where we come here and <laughs> go shopping. But. So, well, and you know what? Right, I was thinking about that too. I was like, man, the first time we came to Austin, we came to go to the great outdoors, to go paddle boarding, like just a l nice leisure trip. Mm -hmm. What is? What are those? <laughs> does not exist. Ooh. We should still definitely go paddle boarding. What we should do is 
come for like three days, mm. get a hotel for like two nights, like cheap, but only be there to sleep type of hotel, but yep. not like you're gonna get murdered. Yeah. You know, like that nice And retreat. that's not off the table for me. Or an Airbnb, duh. Yeah. Um, I travel with my own sheets. But all of us know. <laughs> I keep an extra set of sheets in the back of my car. That's crazy. <laughs> but like the guys, the kids, and the guys can mm. go do their own thing. We that would be up. perfect, right? That would be really cool. Kind of yeah. give everyone... Maybe in mm-hmm. the fall sometime, because it's, like, really hot right now. Like, and when we say fall, we mean, like, in the middle of December, possibly even in January. Would be when it's still 75 time. degrees out, basically. There's a slight chill in the air at 65. <laughs> No, that's too cold. That's jacket weather. <laughs> that's coat weather. Coat and scarf weather. Okay, so the one, like, the one really cool thing about, that I've thought about, about living in Colorado, I could wear long sleeves year-round, and, be, like, the fall fashion is superior, for sure. Mm-hmm. Fall fashion. Layers on layers on layers. Mm-hmm. Boots on boots on boots. Mm-hmm. For sure. We have like, there's like a, a two layer maximum. I, I literally, I consider my sports bra to be an independent layer when I'm dressing. Wow. Cause. We have a lot in common. Cause. You're gonna turn right right here. That, a sports bra and tank and. Right on South Lake Shore Boulevard. Except Florida. There's a lady that I, I follow on Facebook. And she's in Florida. That's inappropriate. And, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not. I hesitated for like. I'm not for milling. Yeah. Wait, one second. Jeez. This has turned into a mukbang. <laughs> you watch mukbangs on YouTube? Mm-mm. No, but um, you know what I do love? Clockwork Next. Orange. Oh. I thought it'd be really cool to remake a milk bar. They do, they have a milk bar, but they have like some kind of drug or alcohol in the milk. Oh. And it comes out of these like crazy statues and Ooh. snacks. I love snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to make this over. Here you go. I also love the, 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 like the healthy, fresh snack choice. Yeah, I figured it would you know, literally anything else I was <laughs> craving. Um, Chips, chocolate, Cheerios. No, off topic, but they have the chocolate Cheerios and they are delightful. Are they? They're not overly sweet. They're just like that nice little hint of sweetness. I might get some for Ryan. Mm-hmm. But you would love the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. Because I stopped buying all the sugary cereals for my kids, and I bought, um, Gage really likes the Berry Berry Cheerios, but the others don't like it. So I got the chocolate, and really delicious. The only ones I've liked since, whatever, Honey Nut Cheerios, Regular Cheerios, Frosted Cheerios, is the maple ones. Oh, Oh, and the apple cinnamon ones. Those are good. Mm, I bet that. So, right, like, I'll buy apple cinnamon Cheerios instead of Apple Jacks. There's so much sugar. Turn right onto East Riverside Drive. Right? Um, I was gonna say we're doing a mukbang, which is there's a baby A's over here. A set place with that limit of two margarita mm. <laughs> that has Everclear in it. So we're gonna go get one. Oh my god, I don't have my ID. Mm. Um, I almost came up ID list too. Thank you. I feel like it was very close up on my chewing. When people on YouTube will eat and just chat, mm-hmm. or talk about stuff do a q a it's called a mukbang i don't know what the really? actual i don't know what a mukbang actually is it's obviously not i think it started with like really petite asian people i'm not sure what kind of ethnicity is use the left lane to stay on east riverside drive you're gonna go there okay now you're fucked right here and you can do it i'm gonna do it i have faith ye of little faith Anyway. I'm that person, like, I will sit and wait. Like, I'm not going to keep going. I feel like normally people are like, oh, she fucked up. 
I'm gonna give her a break. I'm not going to try and like cut in front of you. <laughs> Ooh, bitch, get out the way. Like you clearly just drove to the front of the lane and now you're trying to get over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You didn't want to wait. Mm-hmm. Not, oh shit, I'm not from here. I'm in the wrong lane. Yep. I wish my glasses did not glare so horribly. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Ew, this is like, Semi soft cheese. It's not bad. But yeah. Okay. Mm. Will you let me in? Thank you. People here are usually not that nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, see, I probably, well, maybe not. Had, I didn't realize that this one is left, this one's straight, and that one's straight. Mm. Did you know what tells you? Mm -mm. I no. only recently discovered. I have such a weakness for cheese. I love, like, real cheddar That's not cheese. Real, but... <laughs> oh, shit. It's good enough. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. This is real cheddar cheese. 100%, no questions. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can taste fake cheese from a mile away. I don't do Americana, American. Mm-mm. Why do I like trash processed food? Do you like Velveeta? I or, mean, that, that, that's like... like mm. You want the last... I wasn't sure if you were giving me all of it. No, yeah, so. that's your half. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, Velveeta is like one of those things that I can enjoy if... You know, you put some chorizo, some tomatoes, onions, okay, peppers in it. Fancy but it up. like, if you just melt Velveeta cheese, no, not my jam. See? But instant pot, that takes like five minutes to just add the extra ingredients before. But see, I would rather... And the white Velveeta. Do milk, some flour, some cheddar cheese, make a nice cheese sauce. Mm. But it's still, it's... It almost tastes like more like a stout beer cheese whenever you do it like that. But yeah. I wonder, I bet you the white Velveeta is better it is. than the yellow. For sure. Yeah. It's that yellow coloring. <laughs> she nice. <laughs> Ooh, and raw almonds. Mm, these are really good. They're like blanched, so they're not so hard. I am. Um, I didn't used to like almonds. I don't know why. But my tastes have definitely changed. Probably since Colby mostly, but. Mmm, <laughs> and pregnancy. Do I need to get on right here? No. Okay. You're gonna go right on Old Torf here? Oh, this is my old stopping ground. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't mind me, it does. <laughs> Can I do what you can do, me? Woodland? No, but that's fine. Turn right onto to Woodland it. Avenue. Um, I'm also a huge fan of broccoli, only with ranch. Like, you have to have ranch. Well, we made. What are those crumbs called? Panko? Panko? crusted broccoli and he fried it Ooh. and it was fucking incredible that sounds delicious it was delicious what kind of sauce mm. we didn't have any sauce with it but he said he would have done like a sriracha aioli oh that sounds good i was like boy you totally should because it was really good mm. yeah see i never would have eaten stuff like that before I have very few, like, non-negotiables. I will need octopus. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm about squid. Calamari. I do eat. So. If we're talking, like, a full-on, mm, mm But. I don't mind, like, pickled things. Like, I don't, I haven't ever experienced anything super crazy. But, like, I'll eat, like, pickled eggs and... Like, I, I enjoy pickled beets. 
Have you ever heard of that restaurant? I don't remember what town it is on the coast. And somewhere you go. And they slap you with the squid and then you eat it. Oh my god, that is my worst nightmare. I'm just kidding, I totally made it. Okay. That would be funny. I just it's like dicks it. with seafood. Alright, All right, here you go. Eat <laughs> it. Um, so right, like I won't do I won't do like some uh organs. I'll do some organs, but I won't do some organs and I won't do a, a octopus. The vegans are quaking. <laughs> but as far as, uh, like, that's, like, those are, like, my really only non-negotiables. I don't like questionable meat, though, either. Like, anything slimy, chewy, mm. you know. Fair enough. Uh, meat has to be very tender and, like, melt in my mouth. Like, like. Tender, tender, tender kind of mm -hmm. texture. Yeah. The people behind me are probably pissed. Um, but these bumps are big. Yeah. The house is very cold. Oh my, what? Yo. Super like sleek One million and modern, dollars. right? <laughs> One million. That was. <laughs> Billions and like billions. how much would it cost to live here? Like I, oh, like my here? house here would be like five hundred grand <sighs> if it were right here, right in downtown Austin. But Six hundred feet. Turn left onto South In the suburbs, they're more realistic, more similar to attainable our area. Yeah, if and when Turn we move left back. Left South Congress Avenue. Left. Oh, I know where we are. Um, it'd definitely be like a Pflugerville or Round Rock or somewhere like not Austin. Pflugerville is super cool. I hate the name. <laughs> the name bothers me. <laughs> is it because of the P? I would not live there. Be, it. <laughs> is that silent F? <laughs> No, it's just silent. I know. Oh. Pluger Bill. Pluger. Pluger. I don't know. It's just all those girls are dressed exactly the same. Do you think they correlated it? There's like twelve of them. Maybe. All wearing black tanks. Tucked into high waisted shorts. That must be the style. Hmm. Wouldn't know anything about style. I can't do. I mean, I can do some high waisted shorts, but not tucked in. I look so silly. Props to you, ladies. Maybe they're crop tops. I don't know. Maybe it's a. People wear bodysuits with. Oh yes. Is that a thing that females do? Because I my um my great friend Kayla. Shout out to Kayla. She wears a couple of like the bodysuits with her high waisted like leather shorts. Oh, I bet that. She looks phenomenal. Um, I don't, I don't do I've that. never met a person that could pull it off as well as she can. I'm it. sure they're out there. I'm sure you, you guys are out Maybe there. Maybe not. Oh, what about one with like a leather pleated skirt? Mmm, that'd be cute. Just slow mo creeping. <laughs> Okay, no, those, I don't think that was, I think that's just their style. Yeah. Wow. Because it's like different colored shorts. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't need the GPS I make my anymore. own style. It's going to be on the right, right up here. We were looking at gold chains yesterday at the mall. And... <laughs> like real gold or... Like, yeah. No, okay. Uh, I really want to get like a real chain necklace and I found this crown pendant that I really liked and then Justin's been wanting a gold chain so we were looking at like gold rope versus link chain and um, and then we were looking at the grills because it's always been Justin's like childhood fantasy to have like a full on what? gold grill. Why? <laughs> um, when would he wear that confidently? <laughs> Like going to moonshine with a fucking girl. <laughs> Sports on a Tuesday <laughs> after work. I'm gonna put my grill in real quick. Justin is like stunt on these. <laughs> <laughs> that is like 
the biggest like oxymoron. It's like <laughs> totally opposite his style. I feel. I think he'd be better off with like a, a Swarovski, however you say that word, crystal fedora <laughs> than a grill. <laughs> so, what was I telling you about? We were looking at the gold chains. Mm -hmm. What was that going? What were we talking about moments before that? Um, I had a storyline. I don't know. Oh, style. Yeah. So we had on the gold rope at first. And then I said, hey, why don't you check out uh, the links to where it's like the flat links. And I was like, you know, my because my dad wore a lot of gold jewelry and he's always had gold necklaces. I said, this is the kind that my dad would wear. And Justin goes, mm, I don't really like those. Those aren't in style. And I was like, that is the one that I would buy. Like, I would buy it for that reason. He's like, no, those aren't popular. That's not the style. People don't wear those. They're not as common. I don't think I've gold ever, mine. I don't think I've ever, ever, I mean, maybe when I worked at Buckle, bought something because other people were wearing it. No, no. Like, I just buy things that I like. Tickle my fancy, obviously. <laughs> it's a positive. It's just a plus if it uh, looks externally, nice. Externally. Oh. oh, don't die. Don't hate us. Sorry. They do. They hate me. I'm like, fuck you. How dare you? Austin oh, just such a different, it's such a di different driving experience. Oh, it's a lot more anxiety ridden. Mm, I don't get anxiety. I also I did just have a car anxiety. A What'd you say? I went off a, um, oh, a curb. <laughs> a curb. <laughs> no, you didn't. That didn't happen. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Right. I'm so excited. Well, this has been our mukbang. Hope you liked it. We should just upload this unedited. Oh, yeah. 22 minutes. <laughs> this, would be, this would be Friday's video. That's a good idea. Right? That's a good idea. Not that I have one planned or yep. anything, but... You know. Oh, that's true. That's but true. I just got a full-time job, so... Maybe it would be nice to have the... This is quality to one, content. To have one as <laughs> Who wouldn't want to ride in the car? With the great friends? outdoors! That's true. That's true. Alright, we're gonna go sweat our dicks off and buy probably no more friends. Sweat our friends!